I'm so glad you're here. I have another special Bible story to share with you. But first, I have a question for you. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a penguin because I like the way they waddle. Now here's my other question for you. What is your favorite farm animal? Oh, some of you like ducks. Some of you like chickens, cows. Well, here's my favorite farm animal. I'm going to show it to you. <gasps> it's a pig! Isn't he so cute? Now this pig's a little silly because he's wearing a costume. Do real pigs wear a costume? No, they don't wear a costume. Now what sound does a pig make? Yes, they either go oink oink or <coughs> I'm going to show you what sound this pig makes. <coughs> Wasn't that funny? Let's hear it again. <laughs> that pig is so silly. Today in our Bible story, we're going to hear about some pigs. So, I've got my Bible, and we are going to be in the book of Luke. And this is what the Bible says. Jesus was teaching people about God's love. He told a story about a father who had two sons. The younger son told the father he wanted part of his family money. So the father gave the son what he asked for. The son took the money and he moved far away. And then he began to do some bad things. And eventually he spent all of his money. How much money did he spend? All of his money. He didn't have any food to eat. And so he went to work taking care of, yep, pigs. And he saw that piggy food and he thought, ooh, that looks so yummy. Ugh, would you eat piggy food? Ugh, no way. But then he remembered his father's workers. They had food to eat. So he decided to go home and work for his father. While the son was still far away, his father saw him. While the son was coming, the father ran to him and he hugged him and he kissed him. The father called out to his helpers, Hey everybody, go get him the best clothes because we are going to have a party. <laughs> he was so excited that his son was back. He had a big party. The father wanted to celebrate because his son had come home. Jesus wanted the people to know that God is a loving father, just like the father in the story. So the son, he made some bad choices, right? Yeah, but his father still loved him. And sometimes we make bad choices too. But when we ask God to forgive us and we tell him we are sorry, he will forgive us and he will still love us too. Now, I want you to put your hands up in the air and clap them together and pull them down by your heart and let's pray. God, thank you so much for always loving us no matter where we go or what we do. In your name we pray, amen. Thanks, we'll see you later, bye-bye.